Welcome back to Super Lobby Player. We're just gonna jump straight into the fucking gym because why not? Yay! Oh no, the invisible walls. However will I know where they are? Oh no, it is such an impossible puzzle. Let's just fight some trainers. Let's just fight some trainers. Strength isn't the key for Pokemon. It's strategy. I'll show you how strategy can be for strength. What if you have both? What if you're just really powerful and also have good strategy? Then you're basically unstoppable, right? Juggler, huh? That's... That's the profession you chose? Or that 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 that's the classification you chose to give yourself as a... Juggler? Okay. Respect. You do you, buddy. I just don't imagine that you're... Uh... Um... I was gonna say I don't imagine your Pokemon appreciate being juggled, but you only have one dude and you were juggling a bunch of balls So I guess you just buy empty Pokeballs not to catch Pokemon as the original purpose But to juggle them and show off your amazing skills of hand-eye coordination Hey, 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 what's Whitney Houston's favorite type of coordination? Hand -eye! <laughs> That's the dumbest joke ever, and I love it. <laughs> Any excuse to burst into song. Any excuse. Literally any excuse. I will take any excuse to dress up in a costume or to burst into song. For real. For real. Yo. That's me. That's the fact about me that you now know. Do with it what you will. Bruh. Bruh! Bruh! Okay. Okay. My, 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 okay, the local theater company nonprofit thingy that I've been with for the last couple years, it's, it's a youth company. It's ages 14 to 25. I'm gonna age out. This is my last year to do it. This, this coming summer of 2016 is my last year to do it. And fucking, they just announced the shows and they're doing, they're doing two for the first time since like the 90s, the early fucking 90s. And it's fucking Beauty and the Beast and nine. You can't go wrong. You can't, you can't go wrong. Beauty and the Beast was the first show I ever did, and now it could be the last show that I do with this company, and I was just so fucking excited about it. I'm so excited. I really, really, really want to play Belle. <laughs> oh my god, I really want to play Belle. Or, or Babette. I'll take Babette. Babette could be fun too. Or maybe, uh, depending on the state of the costumes we end up having, uh, uh, what the fuck? Madame de la Grande Bouche, the wardrobe, could be fun too. I'm real loud, so it might work. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! Although I don't know if I have the right body type for her. She's she's meant to be like a, a large woman. Babette could be fun. I really want to play Belle, y'all. I was a, I was a, it was my senior show in high school, but it was the first show I ever did because I was too scared to go for the shows in high school because my middle school director was she had a grudge against me. That's a long story. But anyway, um, and so I finally tried out in, in senior year for Beauty and the Beast for my senior musical, and I got in. It was awesome, and I was an ensemble person, but it was so much fun! And so it would be really fun to do the show again and be, uh, and go from ensemble townsperson slash, um, dancing plate to, um, to... Uh, a named speaking role. That would be fun. That would be fun, right? I'm so excited. Oh my god. And nine, nine I was not in, but I did tech for in college because I was taking a production class at the time and we had to do crew for a show, so I was on run crew. And oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, duh. I don't even know who I would want to be in that show. Uh, fucking the wife? I could be the wife. I'd be a good wife. Um, or fuck, what is her name? Louisa? Guido Contini, Luisa Contini. Luisa. Her name is Luisa. Yeah. Guido Contini, Luisa Del Forno. Actress with dreams and a life of her own! Yeah. I did that song for a- Whoops! I did that song for a, a cabaret performance once. Um. Or- Ah! Uh, fuck! The girl! 
The girl, the call from the Vatican girl, I can't remember her fucking name, but she's like in a bathtub and she's singing all sexy things and Guido is all like, it's a call from the Vatican, I promise, it's nothing, I'm not cheating on you. <laughs> or the other girl, there's a lot of women in that show, oh my god, yay, there's a lot of women in that show. Granted, um, the women are all kind of being taken advantage of by Guido, the main character, and he doesn't learn a damn thing and he just gets what he wants in the end and everything's fine for him even though he's continuing to be a fucking womanizer, but whatever, there's a lot of female roles in that show which is really important, okay. Yee! I'm really excited about theater. I really like theater. Okay. <laughs> I'm a giant theater geek. I'm like a late blooming theater geek, but I'm still a theater geek. I love performing. Why do you think your head is too big for your body? Why do you think I'm on YouTube so much, making so much content? Because I enjoy being center of attention, and I enjoy entertaining people. And you know what? Theater is great for that. <laughs> <clears throat> But I prefer musical theater over straight theater because I like to sing first and foremost. I am a singer who acts and 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 dances. It's like singing, acting, dancing. That is the order of my skills. But I can do all of them. I just don't know if I'm at the level of a triple threat. I think, in my opinion, a triple threat is somebody who can do all three equally. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good. You know. When I was a kid, I was really scared of doing anything spoken because I thought I couldn't remember spoken word. I thought I could only remember things if they were sung because I had such an easy time memorizing songs, but I had really hard time memorizing um, non-sung things. So I thought like I just couldn't do it until finally I fucking just did it and it was fine and I was it was fine. Uh, it's just a little bit tougher for me. So, you know, don't be scared! Try new things! Yay! Expand your horizons! Woohoo! I love performing. Oh my god! Community theater is the greatest fucking invention because if you can't make performing your job, you can do it for fun and make friends and there's no pressure and it's like... Why would you not, right? It's great! It's so great! It's the best thing! And now I gotta find, uh, some theater, community theater, like, stuff that's not for children because I'm gonna age out after this season and then I'm gonna have to find something the fuck else to do. Either here or California or wherever the fuck I end up being. I gotta find something, because I really miss performing. I haven't done a show in... I haven't done a show since 2013, since before I moved to California, the summer before I left, um, because I couldn't find any theater things to do in California. And despite the fact that my boyfriend's a goddamn film student, he didn't want to cast me in any of his movies. <laughs> Which is fair. It's a little tough to work with, um, people close to you. <laughs> and there's always that, like, because they have to cast, like, you know, actual actors, they put out casting calls, like, for LA there, and it's not just like, you just put your friends in it or whatever. So it would be a little bit weird if he picked me for his stuff. <clears throat> That's fair. I understand. It makes sense. <sighs> Good times. But, yeah. If you want... If you are in the, um... DC metro area suburbs Maryland region and you need, uh... Actresses for your web series or YouTube skits or whatever the fuck. Hit me up, yo! I love that shit! <laughs> um... End plug, I guess. Maybe. <sighs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. So many texts! So many texts! Why doesn't anybody know that I'm recording even though I didn't tell anybody that I'm recording and that they should leave me alone? Whatever! It's fine! Maybe I shouldn't check the phone. It's in do not disturb mode, so I mean I shouldn't check it because it's not telling me that I should check it, but I'm still checking it anyway because I have a problem. Pardon me while I drown myself to try and rehydrate my vocal cords. Holy shit, man. <clears throat> I didn't do all that much talking for the last week and a half, two weeks or so. It's a little... It's a little rough, all of a sudden, with the speech thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, how we doing? How we doing? Pecklet. Pecklet, yo. Pecklet, buddy, foul, foul. Buddy, foul, friend. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go, 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 here we go, here we go, here we, you can just, you're, you're fine. Yay! I mean, not really, they're, I mean, I was just, I was just humoring you before, they're, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty obvious, they're not that invisible, like, they're dotted lines instead of solid lines, I mean, it's, it's subtle! But it's kind of like in old school hand drawn animation where um, something in the environment would need to be acted upon, and so it would be drawn in a significantly different way so that it would be easier to animate, and you would know just by looking at it oh, that book is gonna fall off the shelf. I feel like there's a cartoon or an anime or something that makes fun of that. Some one of those fourth wall breaking, like, super meta ones. I love that shit, man. Like, yes. Jokes! Love it. I don't want a fucking pin missile. Didn't you used to know that? No, that was, uh, Boonek, who is sadly no longer with us. <laughs> yes, abandoned learning fucking pin missile. Pin missile's bullshit. Yes, I would like to change Pokemans because I am not in the good shape right now. Quetel! Quetel, come save me, Quetel! Um, what was I saying? Fuck. Damn it. Oh! And in video games, in older video games, um,. It, the, the, the biggest example I could think of is in um, the 3D Zelda, because in 3D Zelda, like in Ocarina of Time, for example, if there was a bombable wall or something like that, um, if you didn't see the crack in the wall, you could see uh, that the outline of what would then become the doorway was visible. Like, it was a... It was a separate piece that wasn't fully aligned, and so if you walked around a little bit, you could see, uh, like a thin white halo around the part you were supposed to bomb. Um, this is especially helpful in the, uh, in the, in the fucking, in the well in, in Ocarina of Time, because you have to, like, use the lens of truth to see, like, fake walls and fake floors and shit like that, but you don't even really need it because of the graphical errors that happen because the there's no collision detection in that part of the wall, so it's technically a separate element, I guess, and they're not perfectly aligned, so you can always see the borders if you look carefully. So, finally, fucking Quetel! Jesus! What took you so damn long? Candle butt? <laughs> yes! I have a Charizard! I promise I'm more excited about this, I just happen to be yawning at the same time because... I'm cold, and when I get cold, I'm tired, and when I get tired, I'm cold, and it sucks. It's an endless cycle. What are you trying to learn? Growth? No. Fuck that shit. Ah, uh, yeah! Evolving dudes in the gym! Okay, we're gonna finish this up next time on Super Zombie Player. Peace, love, and geekdom. Goodbye! <laughs>